Hello, welcome back to Natty Crypto for another video. Today I'm going to talk about a project that uh, launched on Cedify and some others. It has already pumped quite a bit, so I probably wouldn't buy into it yet. So just wait for it to come down. But it looks like it's going to be a great, enjoyable project. I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your further research before you invest your money. Never invest more than you can afford to lose. If it is financial advice you're looking for, please seek a financial advisor. This is for educational purposes only. Okay, so if you want to um, uh, join my VIP uh, group, if I'm there, I'm there, losing my, losing my, okay, I'll start again. <laughs> I do have a VIP Telegram group, link in the description below uh, for you to see what I'm buying, what I'm selling, what I'm trading, I'll put it all in there first before everybody sees it. Mark has been quite choppy recently, uh, so some trades haven't quite gone to plan. Um, but I am working on that. Uh, on another note, I do have a chat group. Uh, click in the description below if you want to talk to me about anything or new projects you want to uh, discuss as well. Please smash the like button, hit the subscribe button and uh, the notification bell. I'd like to get as many subscribers as possible to get this content out there to the average person like you and me who can't afford to invest thousands of dollars but or pounds can only afford up to probably 100 or even max with 300 pounds per month. All right, so <clears throat> what am I talking about? This is 100x potential. Games for a living. That is extreme. Ooh. Dark mode, please. Games for a living. Why am I talking about this? Yes, it has pumped. It's been doing well recently. It uh, launched a sort of coin market cap uh, in the middle of March and it uh, launched on Cedify uh, Network as well. Games for a living. Now, I heard about this a couple of months back. I have been keeping an eye on it. But the one thing that I, that I am a little bit uh, pessimistic about, at the moment it's pumping on a very tiny circulating supply. The max supply is 10 billion. Keep, keep that a note for a second. The fully diluted market cap is sitting at $144 million. Circulating market cap is sitting at 8 billion just nearly $9 million. So there's a lot of, the tokenomics is obviously gonna be quite diluted, which means it's gonna be a lot of tokens gonna to be uh, put onto the market as the time goes by, the vesting periods uh, tend to, to turn around. They have over 11,000 people in their Telegram group. <coughs> I joined it as well, I'll show you. Yeah, there you go. Um, so quite a lot going on. It is, as you can see, it is a, a gaming platform. Games for a living. Um, so there you have it. Power in the future of Web3 Gaming. Where can you buy it? You could buy a Mexi Global, BitGet, bit to me, Bitmart, and obviously on Pancake Swap. Thankfully, it's on the Binance Smart Chain. That they've obviously got this uh, completely right. It's a GFAL utility token for transactions, governance, across the Games for Living Network and games. Should we click on the white paper? Is this the white paper? Is that the white paper? Where's the white paper? I did load the white paper. Is this the white paper? No, is this the white paper? No, well, I downloaded the white paper. Okay, let's, let's, let's do it that way. Sure, I, I did uh, open it, must have closed it by access. Here you go. Games for a Living is a native currency, <coughs> excuse me, and utility token of the network, and the games developed with it. Users will be able to use the GFAL in a growing number of ways within the network making it a bridging asset in operations of all kinds. <clears throat> Games for Living issued a token generation event on the 13th of March with a prior private sale followed by a pre-sale. It was the technical features. It uh, follows the ERC20 token standard, but it has been issued on a BNB smart chain. It makes it cheap, so no gas fees, extremely low in Binance, which is much better. Smart conscious uh, has been deployed with Solidity programming language deployed on BNB. That's what we like to see. Uh, followed the uh, technology auditing uh, carried out by hacking. <laughs> Games Live is designed an incentive scheme that benefits the growing benefits the growing user base, increasing network effects. The advantages offered to GFA or token holders are many and very diverse, depending on the use of the network. On sorry. Use of the token on the network and the games listed below. So use for development. So use of replica game tools is also used for marketplace. It's also using the games for the players. Um, it's short term and also for, for government governance. Look at that like in your own time. Oh, this is more like it. So what is the use for us players? It will serve as a cross currency in all games developed. So that's probably why there's quite a lot that's not in circulation. 
Players commit their own NFTs and upgrade them using GFAL. Players that own the token can start earning in-game tokens by playing the game. That's what you want to do. Players will be able to buy in-game NFTs and currencies from other users with GFAL. And <clears throat> pay uh, the fee at the crypto payment commissions. Players uh, will be able to transfer their GFAL and NFTs to other chains, exchanges, marketplaces and platforms. Uh, paying the gas fees with GFAL. Event games will hold special events where players will get rewarded with GFAL. Is what you want to see. At the end of each season of the game, top ranked players will receive GFAL <coughs> depending on their position on the leaderboards. They'll also be able to purchase NFT premium pass and game battle pass. So if you play this every single day and you're one of those dedicated gamers, there is a rewards incentive for you at the end of all of this. Okay, additional possible use cases in other games. Um, uh, so possible use case other games, uh, access to exclusive ventures and quests, access to PvP tournaments, access to create other or combine NFTs, speed up process, blah, 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 blah. Priority whitelist and the ICO of new games. Interesting. So users who own the GFEL will get to vote on the products and functionalities that games for living will offer in the future. Fine. Uh, short term, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So reasons for issuance, uh, following goals, financing the four up uh, of the next stage of development. Yeah, financial slash expansion. So looking to build a lot on this. As you can see, specifications on the Banach smart chain, maximum supply, 10 billion. So this is all because they've been working on this since um, 2021. So yeah. So they've been building since uh, 2021. Sorry, the pause in the video I had to answer, answer a call from the school. So my child is off sick today. Token sales. So this is interesting what we want to see. Uh, so of the total 10 billion issued by Games for a Living, reserve the right to sell up to a total of 50% privately, which is what they've done. Uh, a public completion, public sale, offering 2% of the total tokens and pre-sale. And a hard cap, as you can see, 50% of all tokens. <laughs> Uh, so there's a definition, there's a private sale, no public sale information, targeted marketing, launch or seed a bit to meet engine starter, token delivery. The delivery and unlock of tokens will take place entirely on the network. In the first instance, all the corresponding tokens for each user will be visible in the Games Living account, although subject to different blocking models. That explains why. Tokens will be delivered to the Games for Living uh, uh, wallet. Token distribution. So it, here you have it. So, so M2, what does that mean? Is that month two? It's over 120 months. Jeez, how many years is that? That can't be right. Surely. Let's have a look. Lock up. Um, average month monthly op unlock. Okay, for private sale, they're going to get 8% unlocked every month. Vesting over a 12th. 12 month period and in a public sale 33 percent vesting over two months we're in may uh 200 million has been supplied so far so that uh there's liquidity average unlocked 60 percent every month 100 million a uh, thousand million sorry teams got 1800 million and they're getting a small amount unlocked every month advisors four percent kols in in game 1.62 percent marketing all right so yeah, this is why it's got to be quite fully, that's why it's fully diluted, it's quite high, because a lot of tokens are still pretty much locked up. Um, so I'm going to look at here, in-game, private sale, public sale, liquidity, team. The team's got 18%, it's quite a high amount for the team, and then they're getting a little bit as time goes by. So in-game, KOLs, I'm not sure what that means, Barkson Reserve, Foundation, public sale, so there's the red and the blue at the bottom. As you can see, it's got to be consistently here, pretty much. But the dilution is going to come at the, 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 the bigger part of it all. The in-game is not taking a big chunk. The foundation's taking a big chunk. Uh, the team is take is going to be taking a big chunk towards the end of it. Um, the coal's got a small chunk. Um, the developers, see, we're getting a, a bit of a chunk on there. So it's quite, it will, it, will, it will dilute quite a lot as uh, time goes by, really. 
Um, you look at this pretty much in your own time. So roadmap. So they've literally been starting this since 2021. It's only just been launched this year. So they've been building the game. Looks like they've been getting the game ready uh, and then launching the token to actually start. Here we are. Two years this has been in development for. Um, they've done a Samsung launch with Elemental Raiders and the game for Living Marketplace Alpha. They're still working on getting it out on uh, mobile and... Well, they've already shown this that it's with Samsung already, but any Apples have to wait for it to come out on the Apple mobile. But in saying that, I have been playing playing this a little bit. Oh, it's been disconnected. There we go. Have been playing this for a little bit. Um, oh, where's it gone? I was playing you. Oh, really? I have to log in. Bear with me while I get this uh, back up and running. Right, so <clears throat> I've got it back in. I've got it all nice logged on. You can hear the little music in the background. It's quite, quite nice. Play. I've already played a couple of games already. Hero arrives. I've done this one. Let's go. So it looks quite fun. It's quite, oh, quite loud. Quite card gamey kind of play. Um, so. Higley <laughs> or the hero of Renaria. That. So you got your cards down here, you kind of hold it and then I don't really know what you're supposed to do with it. But Okay, you go to use it and then this one you want to clobber somebody. Who do you want to clobber? I want to okay. clobber him. Attack a vulnerable. Oh, yeah. so he's vulnerable. Attack that one. It kind of helps you when you get ready. And this water bullet. Kind of reminds me of some splinter shards. Remember splinter shards? Let's get you with that one. Water bullet. Let's get you with that one. Divine strike. Let's get you with that one. And you. No can do. Well, what then? Not enough magna. That one. Okay. Feel the power. Play. There we are, so I'm first and something. So cyclone, so what do I do with this? Let's see if I can cyclone him. And I also want to bash him. And I want to use the ice mantle. What does that do? Well, protection. I want to protect you. And I want to get you a score. Oh, not this time. Okay, so here we go. Hey, I won! Victory! So there we go. That game, uh, that game over, and now I'm moving on. Get a con chest. That's quite nice. I did get some um, some stuff in here. So more loot. Let's open it. I want Go. to see. No, please. Sit over there. Right, so then you open the loot box. <coughs> open the loot. See what it gives you. It gives you some more cards. You claim it all in 95, whatever that is. And there we are. In collection. That's right, isn't it? All skills. So I guess you could like choose what you want to use. Um, for your game to get better, all the different heroes. Yeah, and then you go back, and then go back to home, and then you play the next uh, the next round. As you can see, I've only literally just started. I've earned some of these rune stones. Uh, and what's this? Uh, that's that. Yeah, and there we have it. Count level increases heroes' health, and you gain rewards when leveling up. Yeah, so that's it, pretty much. That's it. It looks like fun. Obviously, there's another game on there. Um, <laughs> Charlie. Uh, there's another game on there. 
Um, but obviously, um, isn't. sit down. Um, excuse my child, she's off sick today and smiling. Of course they do. They bounce up pretty quickly, don't they, children, when they're supposed to be sick. Um, so there you have it. This is the game. It looks like fun. I'm going to play it. I'm going to enjoy it. Am I going to invest in the, t in the, in the cryptocurrency at this moment in time? The answer to that question is definitely not. Um, because it's not worth an investment right now um mainly because it, it's so diluted there's only 660 million in circulation and a maximum of 10 billion tokens it's such a huge massive difference and if you look at the <clears throat> you've got to look at it this way what are your gains going to be currently you put put money into this it's going to come down you're going to lose money at in the current uh, current uh, uh, price just wait wait for this to to come into fruition because if you can um co uh, compare this to gala games this could this be the next gala absolutely it could absolutely absolutely it could <coughs> um so could it be the next gala most likely yes and the gala at the moment is sitting on a circulating market cap of 580 million dollars so if you compare it to gala games um at the moment you can see that gala is also quite diluted as well it's only half the circulation half the tokens are out in circulation um but that's better than what gfl is offering it's just a tiny tiny amount compared to the overall max is uh, in circulation and it also, also if you look at like gala's max supply sitting at 50 billion and GFAL is sitting at 10 billion, so it's a lot less. Could it could it max the price compared to Gala Games? Absolutely. Probably get higher than this uh, in uh, at the next bull run. It's definitely got that potential. But like I said, am I going to buy it now? Um, no, I definitely will not be buying it now. Let's see if we can get the white paper of Gala Games just to have some sort of comparison to token vesting. See if we can still get that information up. Um, let's see uh, what would I do so go down the bottom maybe is a white paper down here somewhere doesn't look like it um, no I can't get the white paper anymore that's a bit weird isn't it why would you not get the white paper on here uh, let's go up about so fun first I mean, look at how far Gala Games has come. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. I still hold my Gala, and I'll be buying more in the dip. Absolutely, most definitely. Um, is it here? Would this be the white pair? I don't know. I can't find it. Um, but I'm sure, you know, when Gala first started out, it was pretty fully diluted as well. Because you can see it was, because there's 50 billion total supply and only a half of nearly half is in circulation so that you know it probably most likely is but if you put that in comparison you're looking at those kind of gains i mean what's gala sitting on at the moment it's sitting on a one billion dollar market cap so fully diluted at current uh, uh, market cap value you can say you've probably got a 10x at uh, current standing 10x you could say to current um market fully diluted market cap of gala but let's have a look at what the actual um height of the, went to four um four billion so the market cap went to four billion uh dollars on the gala so let's have a look at what we're likely to see so say the next run one two three four five six seven eight nine should this perform as well as gala let's go let's let's make it like the biggest real Big, the biggest chances it could do. Um, let's see. Let's say that half the tokens are probably won't be in supply by then because it's quite a, a big vesting period, like over 12 months. But then again, 33% will be put back onto the market. So 33% will be sitting at around three. So let's say 4 billion tokens are in circulation by then. 
Um, so that would that would say the circulating market cap four billion. Let's 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 calculate this. So put got to four billion divided by that. So six point four times. So that would be six point four times. Let's put it at nine million. One, two, three, four, five, six. So possibly looking at this as a um, an idea of what the market cap might be sitting on um, at the next, uh, if the, that amount of tokens was in circulation. So if we put the market cap of what Gala hit at the height and we divide it by what the market cap is likely to be, should all the tokens be in circulation now, those tokens. So you're looking at 68 times your money. So it's like $50 on here, 50 pounds, 3,424. It's not massive gains. It's not like exponential, crazy, like out there gains. But for fifty dollars, that's quite good. I mean, if you only if you bought it at that particular time, in a, in a, you know, if it um, was that, obviously fifty dollars now. Uh, if that market cap uh, would get there now, would obviously be a lot. So what was it? Six point four divided by six point four. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so where was, what was I doing? So that would be, so like 4 billion divided by that, wasn't it? 4 divided by this, wasn't it? Just to give an idea of what we're looking at. Times, because I've, I've kind of lost, lost it. Don't have that kind of calculator where I could remember. Times this market cap here. Yeah, so looking at that, so you could say, so divide this by this. Yeah, so six. So you could, if you could six times your money, if you bought uh, $50 in now, knowing that the price is likely to reduce, um, if it gets to that sort of standing in a year's time, over circulating supply of four billion, um, then and it will probably hit like that. Yeah. So I don't, it's hard to explain, isn't it? I mean, I, I can't really see. I'm terrible at maths. Have you not noticed this? Um, trying to work it out so you, so at the moment you get six and a half times your money sh to to hit like four billion in circulation so it's likely to like six x the market cap at the moment but bearing in mind and then the more tokens come onto the, the circulated market it pushes the token price down because <clears throat> there's more tokens available to buy and there's less revenue in there. That's what you got to think about. So this is just my personal opinion. I'm not going to buy it now. I'm going to wait. I'm going to watch and I'm going to see how this pans out. Um, but I'm going to keep playing the game because it looks like good fun. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I've obviously digressed a little bit too much here. Let me know what you think in the comments below and smash the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye for now.